FMA 1967 is an act to provide for the control of factories with respect to matters relating to the safety, health and welfare of persons therein, the registration and inspection of machinery and for matters connected therewith. The objective of this is to prevent from any occurrence of accidents due to use and handling of machines in factories. The unsafe condition that we can see in this picture is it has a bore less than 1 inch in diameter. Meanwhile, the safe condition it states that the valve need to be fitted with a device which shall indicate clearly the open and closed position. As you can see, the unsafe condition shows that build up around the scale that might mix up with the feed water. Next, the safe condition is the feed water need to be filtered. As you can see based on this picture, the unsafe condition is the materials are corrosive and it, the ferrule is not fitted. The safe condition is the materials made from brass which is non-ferrous. Okay. A safe condition for steel regulation is not wearing proper PPM and not follow safe work procedure. So workers should wear proper PPM and follow safe work procedure which is working in group as the pipe are heavy. A safe condition, there are no warning sign. For safe condition, workers should check the boiler pressure before start operating it to over explosion. Option 68, opening a boiler operation vessel. As you can see, workers not wearing proper PPE, not suitable clothes, and other machine can cause the worker injured. So workers should wear uh, protection, warnings are also need to be provided and hazardous sheet machinery but first working at height, every worker should wear proper PPE and use full body harness during working at height and avoid it. all this matter can cause accident. Five space such as silver and tents, every worker should wear proper PPE such as protective face masks, breathing equipment and not touch any part of face during working in confined space, especially in silver. For cylindrical object, the unsafe condition is where the pile is not stable or symmetrical. And for the safe condition is where the every unit is effectively wedged, symmetrical and stable. For ventilation, the unsafe condition is where there is no good ventilation exists to remove the dust accumulated. And the safe condition is where a ducting system from the point of origin of fume or dust for uninterrupted. For lighting, the unsafe condition is where there is no presence of even a general lighting in the factory space and the safe condition is where the intensity of illumination is more than 5 foot candles at any point where the work is being done. For glove regulation, the unsafe condition is where not wearing a glove when handling a work that have a sharp hazard and safe condition is where wearing a suitable glove when handling a process with sharp edge. For, for respiratory protective equipment, the unsafe condition is when not wearing a suitable respiratory protective equipment when exposed to dusty atmosphere and safe condition is wearing a suitable respiratory protective equipment when working in a dusty environment. For Where employees are exposed to the hazard of falling into the water and may drown, there should be provided adequate equipment and personnel with appropriate training for keeping person afloat and for rescuing person. Um, the passageway or platform or work surface were in a slippery condition because of grease, oil or water, it should be removed or covered. In the sugar hazard, there are 13 experts under this regulation. One of them is about wiring. No bare wires or other unprotected conductor, uh, conductors shall be located within a 4 meters of any surface where employee may work or has unless completely guarded by a fence. About safety helmet. All employees, especially at work site, shall wear safety helmets and chats. The angle of the chats more than 45 degrees with horizontal must, must entirely closed on all sides while less than 45 may open on the upper side. Safety nets are important to be placed in the construction site to protect both pedestrians and also the workers from any falling objects. Um, Safety nets must be in a very good condition to prevent uh, the falling object and also to prevent the workers to fall on the ground. For scaffold construction, the workers must wearing the safety harness all the time because to prevent another accident and also the wood uh, that has been used to make the scaffold must be strong enough in order to prevent them from broken. Excavation work the shield must be placed along the soil in order to prevent the soil from erected and bury the workers. And climb or ladder must be provided in order for the workers to save themselves easily if there's any emergency happen.